Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Big Ring Handicap London 8 for this week. Thanks for joining us. This ride we had just on 50 riders in the corral pre-ride, so thanks for everyone for joining us. Uh, just another reminder, if you end up on one of our rides through the event module and you're not exactly sure what's going on, join the Big Ring Facebook group where you can fill out an entry form uh, where Dino will run the ruler over your performance and assign you a handicap weight uh, and that'll mean that all races can race together that's the point of the TBR handicap looking as we see there Dino giving the go 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 sign so this is early racing uh, with so many people joining these days it's going to be hard for everyone to get some screen time and a shout out we'll do our best though uh, as we see why go outside he's just sticking with a couple of early leaders uh, and this is Bruno Vieira. Uh, he has, in two TBR rides, gained almost a cult following. Uh, they're calling him Aussie Bruno on the internet, so I think we'll stick with that. That was Aussie Bruno Vieira. Uh, other riders today, Rowney. This is probably the main group at this stage. Stokes, Anderson, Kip, uh, Danny Matthews, who's had a couple of good events lately. As we're on the first Northumberland climb, as we know this can thin people out, so we'll see what the standings are like at the end of the climb as they turn round to the left. This is why go outside. He's, uh, the Taiwanese road cycling team seems to have joined us, possibly by accident. Uh, and why go outside hanging with them early, uh, using them to draft off. So this now is McFadgen with a little gap to Why Go Outside and Anthony Plummer racing together. Uh, little gaps opening up here. It may be too early for this. Bruno Vieira, uh, that's Aussie Bruno, uh, Kip, and then Richard Stokes coming next. Sandro Costabile, uh, Petchak who we've seen this week running a projector set up in his pain cave. We're enjoying those pictures. Uh, back through to Costa Beal, Tran, and with, this is what we'd call the main peloton, probably. Rowney on the front. You don't see that very often. Rowney doing some work, trying to pull them back together. Uh, forward now to McFadgen. So Bruno Vieira has brought this little group together. Uh, Aussie Bruno, Why Go Outside, and Anthony Plummer. Uh, with little gaps back to Stokes and then the main peloton I was mentioning before. So McFadgen holding out the front. Uh, 15 second gap probably to Vieira, why go outside and plumber. Judging by the watts per kilo numbers, I'm not too sure he's going to be able to hold them off for much longer. Uh, but if this group of three works, they can haul him back in. Uh, main group now, riders like uh, Mead, Anderson, Kip, Davies, Costa Beale, Jason Tran, Petchak, Danny Matthews and Galbraith who I believe is a first timer. So the three come up on McFadgen's wheel here and this is the catch really. So that group of three is now four. Be interesting to see if McFadgen can hold on as they breeze past. Uh, or whether he's done from the time in the front. Uh, very aggressive at the front here. Um, that group of four, and then really back to the main peloton. So uh, the lead group of four, and then this main group. Uh, Simon Heavey also in there. We haven't mentioned him. McCarthy, uh, Burns. So forward now to the foot of the climb, and it is Bruno Vieira uh, dominating this event. As we're seeing over Plummer's shoulder and that second lead group being absorbed by the peloton now. So Vieira out on his own uh, and the peloton chasing down. Vieira, I must admit, I was a little suspicious. All those suspicions have been allayed. Uh, he is just seemingly a very impressive Zwift rider. That is Aussie Bruno Vieira. So back through the field now from Bruno Vieira, and it's why go outside. Then next, Kip on the road, Rowney, Stokes, Simon Heavey, Petchak, McFadgen still holding on, Danny Matthews, uh, Tyler, Dan Mead, Costa Beal, Jason Tran, Plummer, Anderson, Galbraith the debutante, Davies the bumblebee. 
uh, to McCarthy, Josh Burns, uh, Waxy, Badams, then North, Fantana, Michael Juice, Thorman, McBrien, and James New bringing up the rear on this occasion. So, as we head towards the top of the KOM, just confirming the positions on the road, Aussie Bruno Vieira uh, to Wygo outside, Richard Stokes uh, and Ben Rowney. So, this is Bruno Vieira, noticeably the 141 cadence, uh, seems ridiculous but proving effective. Wygo outside, next under the kite for the KOM, and we'll just follow the place getters from here. Uh, next will be Richard Stokes and Rowney crossing the line in tandem. Pierce uh, next, then Kip and McFadgen coming together. Uh, so just reconfirming these positions. Mead next. Then Simon Heavey. Uh, Ur next. Or Heavey and Ur together, sorry. Tran uh, coming across. Then it's going to be Tyler and Petchak close together uh, and this is McBrien now after a bit of banter from Burns on the hill this is McBrien just coasting past Burns there It'll be interesting to see any comments he has on that uh, but on the descent now why go outside Bruno Vieira's got 42 seconds lead so why go outside racing for second and Stokes third at this stage to Rowney fourth so why go outside as he just looks to be exiting the tube section coming through the tube station will be next uh, this tricky little incline that riders will be familiar with 10 kilometers an hour really putting in but it is a steep short pinch that one uh, looking like he's got second place sewn up why go outside as he comes to london bridge I can't see him catching the very impressive Aussie Bruno from here, so I think it's going to be three podiums from three starts for Aussie Bruno. Uh, this is the riders coming out of the tube station now. Kip, Mead, Rowney, Pierce, uh, Ur, McFadgen, who we remember was the early leader, Tran, uh, and Heavey. Look at this spinning. They teach you that at the tour, Heavey. Struggling there, really putting in. So to the finish straight now, an Aussie Bruno powering ahead, chapeau to you sir, great ride, three podiums from three starts. Why go outside will be second, uh, following in third place currently is Richard Stokes, although this train of Mead, Rowney and Kip may have something to say about that. There's not a lot of road left, they'll have to get a move on if they want to catch him. Mead has gone off the front and left Rowney and Kip so Mead uh, looking to challenge Stokes now for third place. Here comes Mead. He goes straight past Stokes. Uh, what can he do? Does he have anything left to respond with? It seems like he does. He's putting down some big numbers and Stokes looks to get back over the top of Mead. Will he have enough road? Yes he does. Great comeback Richard Stokes for the third place. Mead fourth. Then it was Kip, Rowney, Ur, Pierce. we're watching come over the line now. Uh, and looking like next it will be Tran, still putting in 180 beats per minute. Just ahead of McFadgen, our early leader. He tried something off the front, didn't quite stick. Tyler, then Simon Heavey, uh, Petchak uh, and Plummer to Waxy, Matthews. Badams, uh, then looks like Costa Beal, Davies after that, uh, riding with Fantana, this is Bumblebee Davies riding with Fantana, but looks like Juice is coming from the clouds, here he is, powerful sprint from Michael Juice, I don't think we've ever seen him win a sprint before, uh, even for the minor placings, that was Juice over the top of Davies and Fantana. After that briefly we saw McCarthy, North, this was Galbraith, then it's going to be Josh Burns, James New, Ben McBrien uh, and A. Mead out of Australia, not the Mead out of the US. So top 10 of tonight's event is Aussie Bruno Vieira, Why Go Outside, Stokes, Mead, Kip, Rowney, Ur, Pierce, Tran and McFadgen. 
so I hope you've enjoyed the ride. Don't forget to give your ride-ons like we're seeing here. Uh, helps build the community that I think uh, is going really well. Thanks all for riding and watching the videos. I look forward to catching all the banter online and we'll see you at the next TBR Handicap. Thanks for watching.